You know why we want war crimes caused? Some of our citizens are too fearful for our comfort. When we see them, we tremble. Well, I'm John Colley. I'm head of the Liberia Media for Democratic Initiatives there. If you will, the biggest uh, group for people-to-people -people public education, a blend of the media and community outreach in Liberia. Um, we have existed since uh, 2013 and, and now managed to be the biggest group in this country in terms of uh, direct uh, media and community outreach blend, working for peace, democracy, and development. We work uh, with three platforms uniquely, um, um, working with people across the nation, especially in the rural parts of Liberia. Uh, we've got a platform called The Dialogue. This is purely a people-to-people -people gathering on policy issues, talking about all kinds of things that affect people, but in a dialoguing way. And this is our odious platform that has won the minds of people, um, government, um, um, non-profit partners, and international groups working on this platform to sell ideas across the nation. Uh, this is a public education group, I mean, exercise and, and platform too. Our next platform is the Ducor Debates. For the first time in this country, um, we are doing direct people-to-people -people debates around the nation equally. Uh, we are perhaps the group that has done the, the largest amount of debates in this country, presidential through vice presidency to uh, representative and any kind of debate uh, groups that call us to do debates. We become a leading platform for debates in this country. And so we um, in the 2017, the largest amount of debates. We did three presidential, one basically actually regionalized for uh, most of Liberia's urban and rural communities. And so we did three debates in 2017, one at Ganta in the northeast of Liberia. Uh, the other at um, Kakata, uh, vice presidential debate. Uh, the third at, um, at, if you will, Topmanburg, the fourth uh, at um, Fendel, the Fendel campus of the University of Liberia. And then we did 56 representative debates and have since continued in a sustained way uh, to do debates for Liberian people for the, all aspects of, of, of life in this country. We, we've done all the by-elections debate in Sino, in Bonk, in Monserrado, in Grand Cape Mount. So we are proving to be the group for debates in Liberia. And we're happy that people are considering that. That's what we, we say we will do to make debate a culture of the country. And we do it in perhaps some of the most standard ways. Uh, our people-to-people -people engagement is one for us um, admiration not just from Liberians but from internationals. We've recently got, um, if you will, uh, a, a, a commendation from the U.S. Ambassador to Liberia, Christian Elder. Uh, Ambassador Christian Elder wrote, uh, Dear Mr. John Colley, Director of Liberia Media for Democratic Initiatives, Monrovia, Liberia. And she said, Dear Mr. Colley, please accept our deep Appreciation for the Community Media Forum on October 8th, featuring Chairman David Price and four other members of the House of Representatives and Democracy Partnership from the United States House of Representatives. Your moderation of the event provided the members of Congress an opportunity to interact with Liberian citizens and to hear their views on representative government and other topics of democratic governance. The delegation called the Community Media Forum a highlight of their visit to Liberia. We are glad to let you know that. Uh, I applaud your efforts to provide open forums in which Liberians can exchange views, express their opinions, uh, to elect leaders and make their voices heard across this nation. Thank you 
for your initiatives to ensure that Liberia's growing democracy continues to flourish. Now, this is what the U.S. ambassador wrote to us and about us, that we are helping to continue to flourish the democracy of the country. And so our platforms are helping, and so the debates that we do are perhaps some of the best anywhere in the world. And we also have our third platform, which is largely public education for mainly children, youths and children around the country, children and youths. And this is called Tomorrow's People. Tomorrow's People is a platform that brings a set of uh, brain-teasing games to Liberian children and the general public. Uh, we have several sets of that. We have uh, the, the Convention of Cuisine for Boys and Girls, which is general knowledge-based. We have the All Girls Cuisine. We have the Multiplier, which is about multiplication. And we have the Spelling Bee done in a modernized way in Liberia. And we've been looking for support for all this work. We highly do get it, especially for the children's program. Uh, we may end up just shutting um, some of those programs down because we do not have the money to continue. But we are still making efforts to try and sustain them. That's who we are. Now, to sustain the work we do in Liberia, we embarked a few years ago on the construction of an adjunct headquarters, a temporary headquarters, which facility you see here. And we're trying to build it up in a way we're avoiding paying rent to people. Uh, rent became a big problem for our sustainability. So we embarked on the construction of this small house, a small facility. But what is yours is actually yours. And so what we are doing here is trying to actually um, work with Liberians to, to be sustained in the plenty of things that we do for this country. So our facility here, we're trying to make it self-sustained. We've got power, 24 hours of power, electricity, uh, from our generator and, if you will, green source, green sources, if you will, and which is the solar panel bank that we run here, a 10 arm solar panel bank of this facility really lit up at night. And it can be interesting here. We've managed to move some life to this part of uh, um, uh, rural Montserrado County. We are located at Wede Town, Fendel to Kakata Highway. And uh, this is Low Kirisbok, uh, statutory, Todi Statutory District, Montserrado County in Liberia. And this is where we are located. We are happy to have you come and to promote um, a Liberian group uh, trying to work uh, to make some kind of impact on the society. Across the road, we've got some four acres there that we want to do big things on. We want to sit closer here, where we are now, and be able to do the big things there. Before that, we want to set up um, a hall here for all kinds of people-to-people -people meetings and gatherings. Uh, for small money to be able to keep our operations up. But we, in a way, we in a way sustained now when it comes to where to sit and work from. So that's actually who we are. Uh, we look forward to support. We are looking for support uh, to set up a sort of C-SPAN type of media institution, a radio and TV station uh, that will cater for the purely production needs, uh, media and community outreach content production needs uh, for Liberians. We, wanna, we, we have tried and are continuing to do media in a different way uh, from what is done in Liberia today. We work against profanity and the misuse of the media. The landscape in this country at this time is heavily, heavily loaded with conflict. We are trying to work against conflict. So the Liberia Media for Democratic Initiatives, LMDR, and wants to be able to be the group to bring people together. We're working on human rights issues, advocating for people. So our work is largely building the peace and having people living together in peace and establishing the norm and good norm of life indeed. So thank you very much for watching us. Support us and let's work for a great Liberia and its future. And peace.